Number two, I still said with the ministers about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, so I saw a, a building, I saw it again in Nigeria, in Lagos. I saw a massive skyscraper fall down. Fall down. Let's pray against it. Open your mouth, pray. We are praying against all that as a church. Jesus. It's not Lord, witchcraft, it's infrastructure problems. Lord, we begin Lord, Lord intervene. 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 Intervene, 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 my Father, intervene, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my soul, so by Allah, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Let's bring you some breaking news now out of Nigeria, where a 21-storey building has collapsed in Lagos. It's believed 50 people are trapped. Officials have been trying to demolish or retrofit unsafe buildings in Lagos, which is Africa's second most populous city. More than 80 buildings have been demolished so far this year. Now, it's not clear exactly how many people have been trapped and emergency workers are really uh, silent about the number of people who've been killed because of this disaster. Lagos is no stranger to this disaster. Respecting the construction code has always been a difficult situation in Lagos. Enforcement, despite enforcement, such contraventions continue, not only in Lagos, but across cities in Nigeria. People bribe officials to look the other way while they... Uh, they go scheming things and making construction uh, or constructing poorly built uh, structures in Lagos. Eventually, these structures collapse and kill a lot of people. Every year, we register such incidences. But again, in uh, the area where this incident occurred, it's expected that officials are watching closely because this is a high uh, brow area and people expect officials in that area will be watching exactly and constantly how these construction works continue. Uh, it's not clear whether it's the fault of construction, uh, 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 construction workers or it's because of climate change. Lagos has been sinking uh, over the past few years because of climate change. There's been a lot of flooding in that area, but it's too early to say exactly what caused that incident, Hala. OK, Ahmed Idris there, live for us there from Chad. Ahmed, for now, thank you very much indeed.